Hey guys, how's it going? So let me know how my audio is because last time we had a little audio problem. So what's up, Agling Grim, Fox Commander, Alfredo? Hey, Alfredo, I think um, I got to do something different as far as adding you to <laughs> an invite for stream so I can send you your prize. So I'll, I'll work on that today. What's up, Mad Lad? Okay, audio is good. All right. So, hey, what's up, Pika Pika? I, I love saying that. Pika Pika. What's up, Lucas? All right. What's up, Hybrid Punk? Woo! I'm a little tired this morning, guys. My dog did not let me sleep. So, uh, he woke me up super early, earlier than I wanted to be, so... We got uh, Cinder Agent Datras. Greetings from the Golden City of the Silver River of the Czech Republic. I, you know, I don't know why Datras, why that just like is uh, so awesome to know you're from the Czech Republic, but that's kind of cool. Never thought uh, in the history of my life would I be talking to somebody from the Czech Republic. Especially being the 80s child, you know, when, uh, you know, the United States and the Soviet Union, the USSR, were at war pretty much during the entire uh, 19... Well, the Cold War. So it's just kind of interesting to see where we're at today as a people. Let's see. Gino Giglio. I have no idea what you're speaking, but it looks pretty cool. Something about some McNuggets, I think. Uh, Pika Pika. Let me see. Goose. From Estonia. That is pretty cool as well. Pretty cool. Hey, Jaylin. What's going on? No worries. Hey, what's up, Alex R? From the UK. Brothers and sisters from over the pond. I think Gino is saying hello. So we're going to show that. I don't think there's any ill will there. So, I don't think, hey, Fox, I don't think there's any ill will there. It's just that. Uh, I speak a little. Okay. <laughs> yeah, did, did so funny is it didn't look German, but then again, I don't know what German looks like as far as it comes on the text. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, guys. I can't believe I have to go to work. Ugh. I do not believe I have to go to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the business out of the way. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Cop. I'm a real police officer playing video games uh, every Tuesday at... Uh, normally we, t we, uh, live stream every Tuesday at 4 30 PM Pacific standard time. That would be 12 30 UTC time. But unfortunately, as many of the people who follow me on my channel know that sometimes work just gets away of my live streams as it did yesterday. I had to cancel it cause I was called into work. <sighs> Anyways, we decided to, I wanted, I definitely want to live stream. Um, it's something that I know uh, the followers look for, the viewers, and I, I don't like using the word followers. It just so sounds so, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't know. Just kind of like that, like followers, like they're following me. Uh, let's go with viewers. I think that would be better. Or subs, I guess, right? But anyways, um, uh <laughs> Did it say, Gino, did it really say I like chicken McNuggets? Because if it did, I picked that out of that. I got McNuggets. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so anyways, um, I wanted to stream today. Uh, so we're going to stream a little bit this morning. I was actually testing out some settings here because I had some problems with the last stream. And I was actually playing one of the submissions of uh, Sleeping Dogs. Oh, getting back to our official business. So we usually stream every Tuesday, 4.30 p.m., but unfortunately we weren't able to, so we're streaming today. I want to get a stream out this week for uh, the viewers. Uh, but know that we do this every Tuesday. If you like what you see today and you want to be part of this wacky video game adventure that I'm on with everybody here, 18,000 plus people, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell icon for instant notifications. Uh, I will say this much that, uh, uh, we have to, uh, um, I have to get some, on my Friday video, I got to do some major acknowledgements. Two people have bought me a game on stream, which is awesome. So I will be playing Payday 2 as well as, oh, the other game was a Star Wars game, but I want to acknowledge those people. So I was thinking about that. Uh, wow, what, what an awesome way to support this channel by 
actually providing the games that you guys want me to play. So that's always that's going to be another option available. So if you look at the links, if you look at the description below, you'll see my stream um, ID there. If that's something that you want to do, because I know like Seiko has sent me some stuff for Team Fortress 2 that we're going to hopefully play while I'm on vacation, that type of stuff. Um, this is actually kind of becoming more of a coffee with a cop than it is uh, Sleeping Dogs, but we'll get to Sleeping Dogs right now. Uh, so going back to our business, if you want to support this channel, like today we do super chats. Super chats are cool. We definitely utilize that money for the channel as well as our Discord channel. Uh, we have a me uh, merch store. You got to actually, I'm noticing that YouTube finally updated my merch store stuff. So that's kind of cool. So excited about that. Uh, Steam. There's Alfredo. Steam. There's Steam. Steam Gaming. Steam Gaming. So that's where you're supposed to get your prize at. And uh, I think I said Steam. Sorry. Yeah, Steam. Did I say stream? Yeah, Steam. Steam. <laughs> I've only had four hours of sleep, guys. I do apologize. Uh, let's see what else here. And uh, then we have memberships. You can hit the button below, join, take a look at the four tiers, see if there's anything that you want to do. All right, enough of that business. So let's see who we came in here. Uh, let's see. You got Jay Lynn. It's 1040 a.m. in California. Yes, it is. And it's nice outside right now. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Please chase. And it just outside my house. <laughs> okay. That's always interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, religious humane. Uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what that means. The trust. Uh, funny discord said someone bought Teespring merch. That's kind of cool. So let's see. And then I lo I'm loving, uh, maybe I'm going to learn German here from uh, Gino. So, and Joel Fontanez, I subscribed like a year ago. That's cool. Oh, hey, Olivia, how's it going? All right. Joel wants to know if I'm a real cop. Yes, Joel, I'm a real cop. I'm going to go into work in a few hours. I'm a real police officer. So, uh, yes. Hey, what's up, Reed? If you look at my socials, uh, Joel, if you go to the description below and you look at the, the socials like Instagram and stuff, you can actually visit uh, my socials and see uh, some of the stuff that I post regarding uh, the police work that I do as far as like, you know, just some of the stuff going around in our community and stuff like that. So I know people are like, is it really a cop? Yes, I am. I've been a cop now for 24 years. Uh, well, that kind of sucks, hybrid. Let's wait to make sure my video is perfect. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna, how sad, right? I gotta, I'm playing a game, <laughs> which makes me be a cop again. <laughs> can't, can't get away from it. Can't make this stuff up. Uh, Ferris Shadow, do you know Beyblade? I do not. Uh, hey, what's up, Supreme? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the stream, um, which we have 18 people right now, um, uh, thanks, Gino. I do uh, ask that we do uh, do a little bit of Q&A after this is over. So uh, when I'm playing the game, I'm really not watching the, uh, the chat. That's my moderators are doing that for me. So if you have a pressing question, wait till after we finish the gameplay. We usually just play one mission and then we do um, we do some chatting after that. And yeah, it's going to take us a while to get to this, this game to be done, but that's the fun of it. That's why we do the streaming every Tuesday. So what do we got here? I will say the city of Hampton Police is kind of rude to teenagers. Um, cool. I'm doing uh, Licks V Ups. I'm doing pretty good today. All right. Let's play a little Sleeping Dogs, ladies and gentlemen. See if I get my butt kicked today. Last game was ah, all right. So we gotta switch to my game. All right, here we go. Learned a couple of new things. We're gonna do the mini bus racket, I believe. That should be our next mission. I, well, hey, uh, so Morgana says, I think you will like Sleeping Dogs. I'm digging Sleeping Dogs. I like it. I just got to learn how to fight better. My fighting sucks. I get in the habit of pressing Y too much. 
Last time I wanted to surprise Chow, read it for him at his place. I had all the special oils, his favorite toys. Di the dialogue is like what's funny. I wouldn't go around the corner. Then he drove it to work and found out it belonged to his boss. I will, uh, just so you know, I will, uh, take a look at the chat from time to time, make sure everything is going just fine. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, that guy comes in. My man, Wei! You done good. You restored order to the night market. Well, you took a chance on me, Winston. I wanted to make sure you it off. You got the right attitude. It's gonna pay off for you. We'll see. You know anything about the minibus racket? Well, same as everyone. If you want to drive a good route, pay the toll. That's right. You know the pickup on Marble Drive? The most profitable route in the whole fucking city. From now on, it's yours. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it, Winston. <laughs> Dog eye. Right now, it's his route. But you know how to deal with it, huh? <laughs> Great. It'll be my fucking pleasure. I gotta take this. Take a few of the guys with you to back you up. Jesus fucking Let's go. You're great. What's going on? We're going on offense. Taking over Marlboro Drive. One man per stop. Anybody gives you shit? Fuck them up. Smack them around. No killing. What, afraid of little blood? Dog eyes his son on you. Taking the route, not declaring war. You can ask is fine by me. I, I'm going. Okay, so. All right. So real quick, I just read this right now. Um, uh, try using Twitch, you get tons of support. Spade, I do agree with you. I was trying to set up Twitch before today's stream because I already have like, I think over thirty followers on Twitch, and I have not done any streaming on Twitch yet. So that's actually some of you following me, but uh, I know I got to do that. So hopefully next week, the stream will be both on YouTube and Twitch. So let's cross our fingers. But I will tell you this much, it's expensive to tw uh, to stream on both platforms because you have to buy a subscription to do it. And it's not cheap. So that's where you kind of have to weigh the dollars and cents because if you got no money coming in and all you're doing is spending money out, it can get real expensive really fast. All right, so we got uh, Tactical Junkie. Let's see, Darth Vader, Power of the Dark Side. Uh, acidic. All right, Hyperpunk Coin, have you follow you now. Okay, let's do this. They're messing people up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, sorry, get out of our way. I'll take this one. Good job. Yeah, kick his ass. Get out of here. Wait, hold on, gun. How come we're going after Dog Eyes? Shouldn't we be fighting 18K? Dog Guy came after us? This is payback. Pain and simple. What if Dog Eyes complains to Big Smile Lee? What if he sends Mr. Tong after us? Look, dude. Dog Eyes might work for Lee, but Winston answers directly. All right. Nobody is going to fuck with the chair. Nobody. I realize I have to also not damage stuff because I lose hot points and that's a way to get extra perks. Oh! Fuck guy, look what you're doing, way! This, I was, okay, we're losing top points. Get out of my way. I got places to be. Nice car. Here we go. Hey, you haven't paid. You can stop with me, you. This is our stop now. Yeah. Oh. I 
didn't even know I was fighting. I thought I was dropping somebody off. So sorry about that, guys. Let's see where we pick this back up again. Really? Wait, hold on, gun. Oh. How come we're going after Dog Eyes? Shouldn't we be fighting 18K? Dog Guy came after us? This is payback. Uh, Pain and sorry about simple. that, guys. What if Dog Eyes complains to Big Smile Lee? What if he sends Mr. Tong after us? Look, Duke. Dog Eyes might work for Lee, but Winston answers direct to Uncle Paul. Nobody going to fuck with the chairman. Nobody. Oh, great. The very thing I'm trying to avoid, I just freaking do. Now, this Hong Kong traffic's like LA traffic. Hey, you haven't paid. We stop and we'll beat you. This is our stop now. Too. I'm doing okay, Derek. If I can get this mission done. Wait, hold on, gun. How come we're going after Dog Eyes? Shouldn't we be fighting 18K? Ah, dog guy damage. came after us. This is pain. Ah. Pain and simple. Yeah, what if way. Dog Eyes complains to Big Smile Lee? What if he sends Mr. Tong after us? Look, dude. Dog Eyes might work for Lee, but Winston answers directly. Whoa, 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 get out of my way. Nobody going to fuck with the chair. Nobody. Hey, you haven't paid. If you stop, we'll beat you. This is our stop now. You could with your fist. I'll give you that. Thanks. Yeah, we have another guy with us a while back. He was good with his fist too. Came out of no. Good story. Didn't talk much. You remind me of him. A lot. Turned out he was a cop. That's why he couldn't kill anyone, see? So now we know how to spot a rat. You talk a lot, you know that? You know what they do to traitors, right? When Tong is done with them, he buries them alive. Six feet under. Nobody coming for you. Hey, fuck you, Conroy. I still think about that poor fucker sometimes. All right.
Let's go. No, no, no. You stay here. I'll deal with this. Watch how a real man does it. Son of a bitch. Wait, you better get them. What happened? I'm doing the Hey, you. You want this route, you gotta pay for it. Are you stoned? I already paid, don't I? Belongs to Winston now. Winston? I don't know no Winston. Pull over and I'll tell you about it. You're wasting my time. How about I break your legs and see how you drive then, huh? I still drive better than you. I finish my own before you finish picking your nose. Winston must be recruiting dumbass heads from a car. I've never seen a copy. Go back to the city and get hurt. <laughs> you gonna do comedy from your house? What the heck happened? Listen, this route is mine. You want to drive a dog eyes route? Move to one he actually owns. I don't pay twice for the same road. <laughs> I'm not gonna you know what? Here. You're taking your life in your own hands. You're gonna pay, funny guy. I don't pay. I drive my route. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Seriously? I am seriously stuck, guys. I am stuck. I'm so stuck. Hey, what's up, Yorpy? Oh, okay, real quick, guys, hold on. Okay, so I got a question. It keeps saying press R. Which button am I supposed to be pressing? Because for whatever reason on my on my joystick it's not working. Hey you, you want this ride? You gotta pay for it. Are you stoned? I already paid, dog guys. Belongs right. to Winston now. Winston? I don't know no Winston. Pull over and I'll tell you about it. You're wasting my time. How about I break your legs and see how you drive then, huh? I still drive oh. better than you. I finish my road before you finish picking your nose. Winston must be recruiting dumbass peasants. This is a big Never bus. Never seen a car before? Go back to your mule before you get hurt. <laughs> you gonna do comedy from your hospital bed, pal? Everybody laugh, but you Walter Street boys. You uh. mess with me and dog eyes, it's going to cut you into little pieces. You want my money? Go ask dog eyes for it. Hey, listen. This route is mine. You wanna drive a dog okay, eyes route? On. Move to one of the actual I don't pay twice for the same. Hold on, let me see here. 
It's the button under the right joystick. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to be pressing, huh? Press down, press down the right stick, the right joystick. Press it down. Bus pit. It will click. Got you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you know what? You're Thanks. taking your life in your own hands. You're going to pay, funny guy. All right. I don't pay you. I drive my boot. You're going to regret this. That just blew. That's BS. How could you? How can you? Okay, how can you not get damage? There's just no way possible. You're you're in a bus chase. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's see here. Thanks guys for the tips. I really appreciate that. I was like freaking had my head up my butt on that one. Catchup says, you wanted to stream on both Twitch and YouTube, but found it expensive because there is a stream last subscription. You can restream and you can stream as many platforms as you want for free. So you can't restream. Actually, I looked into that, Catchup. Uh, the reason why you can't is that you have to actually stream on Twitch and you have to get to a certain point of followers and hours and then you can start uploading your stuff. So it's either one or the or right now, or I do Streamlabs to do both. So unless you find something else, I'm all ears. 
Uh, let's get wheels on. Let's go round and round. Uh, what's up, Harrison? Okay, Ezio. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Nate? This was pretty fun. All right, let's see what else we got here. intelligent, self-aware, and generally balanced individual. He exhibits a strong moral system and has a clear understanding of the risk involved in long-term undercover work. I am concerned, however, that the underlying social and cultural factors that may take him, uh, may make him an uh, ineffective undercover operative also expose him to psychological, emotional, and procedural risk. Officer Shen was relocated to the U.S. as an adolescent and has never had a strong father figure or male role model. Consequently, his sense of identity and self is more malleable than officers who spent their formative years rooted in a single cultural identity. Uh, this mask is highly adaptable and provides him with a certain chameleon like tendency that will serve him well when infiltrating a tightly knit criminal organization. However, the lack of a strong cultural grounding of sense of home may be a problem over the course of a prolonged undercover operation. If the chameleon is left too long in a given environment, he may forget his original color. Controlling officers must be careful to ensure that Shen's first loyalty is to the police department and the chameleon doesn't change permanently. Though generally self-aware, Shen does not fully reorganize the malleability of the sense of recognizing the mobility of the malleability of the sense of self. This makes his lack of cultural and familial anchors a little more dangerous, as he may not be aware of shifting loyalties or point of view until it's too late. Okay. Now let's make contacts. Tram. Tram. I need a sports car. Let me ask the customer the specifics. I'll text them over. Cool. Popo's uh -huh. around? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a spark. Maybe check around Club Bam Bam. Copy. Alright. So let me see what time it is, guys. Alright. We have been streaming for 30 minutes. Let's go to the club. Uh-oh. The po right there. Alright, is that that way? Let's see what we got. Alright, just take a little bus here. Nothing to see here.
these guys told me I was gonna park in the garage before I crash into the wall. That was cool. And so it stops raining. Ooh, I get a browse beam. Oh yo, how's it going? No. Those are some nice Ooh. wheels. Man, yeah, that's my dream car. That. Right. What are you afraid of? These cars are clean, baby. Totally yeah, yeah, clean. Yeah. Sure they are. So we could play Amanda. We do a cop job. Teens t-shirt. Quick fix. Drug bust alley. Drug bust sports. All right. So we are on 37. Um, we're gonna do a little Q and A here, and uh, so we're gonna call it. Uh, and because I gotta get ready for work, so it gives me about 10, 15 minutes with you guys. What do we got in here? 20 viewers. Uh, let's see here. I hate to get into something right now. All right, let's just do it. Oh, I just took the car. How much will that cost me? Don't worry. We'll give you a good deal. Send on ye never pay full price. All right. Can you believe that price? Don't ask me how I keep it so low. Oh, phase two part. So, uh, I don't want reliable. Ooh, that's a lot of money. All right, I guess we're gonna buy. Ah, ah. ah you crash this one? Come see me again. I'll get you another one in less than 24 <laughs> hours. Uh, I kind of like the car I was in. It doesn't even make any sounds. Oh my god, this I wouldn't even drive this in real life. Oh, this is a uh, pathetic bad guy should not be driving a uh, car like this. Alright. Yeah, I know that was a police uh, mission break, but we're just going to go see what Amanda has to say and then we're going to call it, guys, so I can get it. Take my badass ride. Uh, excuse me. Do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by, anyways. You? Yeah. I. Wait. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I speak English. I kind of guessed. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place, Old Temple Academy. 
I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school yes. that I'm totally yes. lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd be really great. Uh -oh. My name's Amanda, by the way. Or Amy. Enters the Either female one is that's oh, going nice to mess to up Jane. the cop's life. I'm way. Alright, let's get my badass ride. What, can I help you? Hey, where's my car? I just bought a car. Screw you, dude. Oh, there's my car. Let's go. I don't pick up. We're gonna go on my motorcycle? You have a car in here? Yeah, I have my car. There you go. So what brings you to Hong Kong? Are you thinking of becoming Chinese? <laughs> no, no, I, uh, I just finished college and I'm doing a bit of traveling. You know, figuring out what to do with my life, that sort of thing. How's that going? Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress on the life front. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. So this is the Bam Bam Club? Back home I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Don't let the locals hear you say that. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. What about you? You got it all figured out? I wouldn't say that. You know, I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring out life. Oh yeah? You got any clues? Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese wisdom. Look both ways before crossing the street. Always buckle your seatbelt and only apply makeup at red lights. Don't text and drive, you know, that kind of thing. Words to live by. Wow. This is a pretty cool place for a kung fu school. Unfortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Well, not that temple, anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for, what was it, Fists of Carnage? No, it was used in the grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. Isn't this school supposed to be in a temple? New? Yep. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I've heard about this place. Someone says I can practice here. I don't know if that's true or not. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to sign up for some kung fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah, it said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Uh... Wait. I know you. Yes, Sifu Kwok. I used to be your student. I'm Wei, Wei Shen. Ah, yes. The one who went to America. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. <laughs> now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu.
direction, I'll try. Lock, use movement, X. Oh, I get it. Okay. Time in America has Okay, let's reset. My shame at your performance. I am the Lex, you idiot. Okay, one more time and we're calling it. Oh, I love being in here. My understanding of the couch position goes better by the minute. Sweep the lane, Johnny! How can we learn when you provide such weak opposition? Oh, there it is. If nothing else, I expect you to be better in front of the lady friend. Oh, I gotta do the directional thing. I try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. But they all want to be Song Ong Yi. Yeah, they all want to be the bad guy. Now I just train them in the ways of my art. Try to teach them compassion and discretion. And pray for the best. It takes me a while, guys. Sorry. I don't think there's much more I'm you can old. do. I'm old. Don't forget that. Oh, Jade Rat. The Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of 12. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. Sifu, you used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen by a former student, corrupted by oh, the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. Hmm. This collection meant a lot to me. But sometimes you just have to let things go. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? 
<laughs> okay, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Oh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later. Ooh, no, she didn't. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see here. All right, that's cool. Whew, that was something else. All right, let's take a look at, we got some things going on here. Yeah, I know, but I was mashing the buttons. I finally figured out that it was like, boom, hold, sweep, obviously, because I was able to finish it. Um, uh, <laughs> don't look at day over 40, Chris. No, I'm actually 52, so I'm, uh, Almost um, half a hundred years old. <laughs> that sounds old, right? All right, let's get rid of this. Okay, cool. All right, so we got about, uh, we've got about uh, we'll do about 10 minutes of uh, just talking about some of whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, what's so funny is this minute morning I woke up and I go downstairs and my, my wife is working from home today and she's like, where are you going? And I'm like, what do you mean where am I going? I, I just got up. She's like, no, you're, you're, you're like ready to go someplace. Your hair, is, your hair is done. I'm like, this is how I went to bed. And she's like, there's so much product in my hair that it's like, well, this is how I went to bed. Literally how I went to bed. So um, did I get a new haircut? No, actually, I finally combed my hair. I've been letting it grow out. I haven't cut my... Well, I shaved the sides. I shaved the sides, but uh, that's all I did. It's still super, super long. So, like... See? Watch right here. Right? That's the part. That's my pillow part. So you guys don't get to see the pillow part. Let me just uh, kill that. Cool. Got some cool... Uh, got some cool achievements. Awesome. Oh, I think I just, well, game's off now. So how are we doing on volume now? Let's see. What games do you play growing up and what, spi what inspired you to stream video games? So Elemental Hero Joe, what games did I play growing up? Um, well, <laughs> I, there was a time when there was no such thing as a video game. I remember that. Video games came on the market when I was a teenager, and we used to uh, go hunt for uh, glass bottles to get enough money to go play arcade games at the local liquor stores. So it was Asteroid, Space Invaders, Pac-Man. Um, I got my first Atari 2600. That was the first one my parents uh, bought me and had been playing video games ever since. But prior to playing video games, I actually played board games. I played, well, not board games, but I played Dungeons and Dragons. That was the... Uh, game that I played that kind of like got me into gaming. Um, now what inspired me to stream videos is Gameology. So Gameology, if you're listening, Gameology, well, actually you guys got me to stream video games from my appearance on Gameology. I just appeared on Gameology's channel as an expert regarding police tactics and video games that they wanted to show me like LA Noir and a few other games, Max Payne, that type of stuff. And um, what ended up happening was uh, people, their, their subs were asking me to play L.A. Noir on my own channel. So that's how this all started in March during COVID, middle of COVID, not middle of COVID, but when COVID first started. So this is how it all started. Um, but I've always played, I've been a video game player. I love video games. So this is quite often awesome. See, so Flint says, oh, I see that Final Fantasy Collector's Edition there. You may be half a hundred years old, but you're one amazing dude, I swear. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Cloud Strife is probably one of my favorite video game characters. Just love him. Um, so, uh, can I shoot a rival gang member as an undercover cop? No, you cannot. Uh, rules of engagement are always the same. Remember, we can only use lethal force based upon 
um, the um, Fourth, Fourteenth Amendment, as well as a few case laws that are out there, such as Graham versus Connor, Ohio versus Tennessee. So these are the various things that we can only utilize force in. There's already case law codified by the United States Supreme Court that allows a police officer to use force. There is, you can have different policies, but when it comes to the use of force, it's pretty much there. You have to fear for yourself, fear for, uh, fear for the life of another person, um, resisting arrest, effective arrest, various different things. Maybe we'll have like a little, uh, little um, cop. Uh, video about the various different things that actually would be a cool thing to do let's see uh, Chris the game is audio still playing had to hard to hear you so I think I fixed that right now what hair product do you use it's from Target um, it's a yellow one but it's like glue once it's on my hair <laughs> yeah that'd be cool right this is morning bedhead and if you use this product this is what you wake up to <laughs> that would be cool <laughs> Uh, Terrence, greetings from Hong Kong. Wow, we just got done playing some games in uh, Sleeping Dogs. So let me ask you, Terrence, how realistic is the town of Hong Kong in Sleeping Dogs as opposed to real Hong Kong? That is a good question. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, Emperor, you are. We're going to do just a couple more minutes and I got to get ready for work because it is 11.35 and I got to go for my run. I'm going to go run three miles today and then get ready for work. Um, Flint, I haven't played D&D in a while. I'm actually talking to some people to play online with them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully soon. Uh, let's see. Let me see. How did I start with Gameology? Um, Gameology was looking for real police officers to talk about video games but like now that i'm friends with the people that work at gameology we've talked about it is that they've had trouble in the past they've been able to get the military they've been able to get retired people but active police really don't want to be on youtube um or they would and so it was really hard for them to find somebody because police officers were just kind of that weird type of profession where we just don't put ourselves out there and we don't have YouTube channels. If you look at all the people who um, donut operator, officer Tatum, all of these people who are police that have their own successful YouTube channels, they're all retired. They're not active. And I think the reason why they're retired is because it's really hard for them to do both jobs because you do put up with some criticism at work. Um, I have put up with criticism at my work because I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm still an active police officer. But my content is apolitical. We play video games, so there's really not much they can say about it. They can make fun of me, which is, that's fine, but um, it's just playing video games and every now and then I get to talk about something that I believe in or don't believe in. And that's about as political as we possibly get. So, uh, but yeah, so I... Uh, Sent them my resume, we did some talking, they liked what they saw, they brought me on board, and it's been a great relationship ever since then. How's your world map of viewers going? Oh my God. So we have, well, from the people that responded, we have more responses from out of the United States do, than we do have from the inside the, pardon me, inside the United States. But it's not like I have 18,000 people that responded. I believe right now we're probably up to 100 people who have commented. So it's going good. Uh, Shadow Warrior 2, please. Um, while we do have a Discord channel, we have a suggestion um, box. So definitely throw that down in the suggestion box. That's the only way I'm keeping track of all of these, um, all of these uh, requests that you have. Because I was doing post-it notes, but post-it notes are just riddled all over the place right now. Uh, what are your plans for retirement? I don't know. I haven't really thought that far. I still have about six years before uh i have to retire um i can retire in 16 months but um i'm gonna probably stay for the full 30 years just all depends on how i feel but at least in 16 months i have some choices yorpy chris needs to be like an advisor to video game devs for them to develop realistic police ai don't know if you guys cyberpunk cops but when you commit a crime they're instantly teleport to you yeah right i wish that well here's the thing 
um, M7 Productions and I, hopefully when I go on vacation, will be doing some gameplay together because they're trying to get their game zero hour up. They're doing a lot of updates. So far, I have played the training mission, loved it. I want to do some co-op with them. Um, we should be giving out the last of the keys that they supplied to this channel so we can all play, or at least eight of us can play. Um, so I got to talk with Fox about what that has to entail. So we'll go from there. Um, let's see here. Yorpy, oh God, I'm getting Oblivion Guard flashbacks. <laughs> Uh, I think the only actor cop I've seen besides Chris was a channel with Mike the cop, but he quit due to the funding stuff in a little while back. See, that's that's what I mean. Um, so, and it's really like I said, it's it puts you out there. It really does. You know, you gotta deal with a little bit of hazing at work and stuff like that. So that's all right though. Um, let's see, hey, what's up, Jason? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, that's good to know. Jason, I just said hello. See, so Fox is taking care of the zero hour. We were given nine CD keys. One I already gave away and one I kept for myself, obviously, because I'm the one playing. But it's cool that M7 Productions reached out to me. And actually, I reached out to the devs at um, what is the new SWAT game that's going to be coming out? Uh, uh, Ready or not. I reached out to them. We've actually talked. I've talked to the dev, or at least one of the devs over at uh, Ready or Not. They're doing some stuff right now. I offered to come on board as a uh, TAC consultant. Um, that still may happen in the near future, but as of right now, they're still getting some things into play, but we are definitely talking. So I'm talking to the devs at M M7 Productions, as well as devs over at uh, uh, Ready or Not. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool for me. What's up there? Patrick, Helen. Do I play video games to relax from a stressful day from your job? I do. I do sometimes. Uh, so my go-to game, if you don't know, is Final Fantasy XIV, as well as World of Warcraft. I will sometimes come home from work and I will just play those, and that's playing for me. But lately, I've actually been playing Civilization VI, um, just because I learned some new strategies with Civilization VI, so I've been playing that actually mostly lately. I've been playing a couple hours a day. Um, haven't recorded my gameplay because to me, Civ VI is just so boring as far as like for someone to watch. But if you guys are interested in watching my Civ VI gameplay without me in the camera, um, let me know. I'll throw it in there. Maybe I'll throw myself in the camera. But it's just kind of hard because I mostly play on my laptop, so I, all I have is my laptop camera. Um, but yeah, let me know. It's it's the content you guys uh, request and want. So it's it's based on what you guys want. Civ Six Dream. That would be boring, I think, Emperor. That is just like a slow, slow game. Um, you love watching Civ Six. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe I'll throw some Civ Six up there. We'll see. Okay. We'll take a look. Oh my gosh, my eyes are so like. Uh. So we're up to 40 viewers, guys. That's a, quite a bit for us. Comments have been great. Um, the videos have been really, you could do cam, but with voice. You could you could do no cam, but, oh, that, there's, a, there's, a, there's a possibility there. I'll take a look at that. Um, the, uh, the, game, the, the games that have uh, the actual uploads onto YouTube have been doing well. So I'm hoping that next, next stream will be streaming to both Twitch and um, YouTube, that's just really been on me. I haven't really wanted to spend the money to do it yet. Um, so that's kind of been my, my little dilemma there. Um, I probably should have done it in the beginning when Super Chats were uh, coming in, like very huge. I mean, people were dropping 10, 15, $20 at some times. Um, so, but I put that money towards Discord to get Discord, uh, some perks on Discord. So uh, we'll see though, we'll see. Ooh, Fox, you're right. This is the last stream of 2020. Wait, how I ended up here? I don't know. How'd you end up here, Amir? This is the last stream of 2020. Wow, guys. But we'll have another one in 2021. What's funny is if you think about it, 
what is there, 46 weeks in a year? 52 weeks? What the? I, can't, I can never remember how many weeks in a year. Isn't that sad? All right, so 52 weeks in a year. That means in 2021, we will have 52 live streams. That's a lot. A minimum, minimum actually. Uh, my day's just starting, uh, Patrick Hillen. I have to, uh, as soon as I get done here, which I'm gonna be calling here in just a couple minutes, I'm gonna go jump on the treadmill and go for my run. I'm gonna run three miles on the treadmill today. It's just a little chilly outside, so I'm not feeling the outdoor run. And then um, I'm going to get ready for work. And then I'm going to work till uh, 2 a.m. for the next four days. I got called in yesterday to fill someone's shift. And then this is my it's the beginning of my work week. So I don't get off till Sunday at 2 a.m. I agree with you, Flint. I agree. I'm hoping that 2021 is better for all of us. Chilly in California. It is. There is snow outside on the mountains of my house right now. I'll take a picture and upload it to the community channel so you guys can see. Yeah, it's a little cold. A little cold. Well, for California, we call anything below 70 cold. <laughs> this is California. <laughs> All right, Yorpy, what's 20 degrees Celsius? I'm curious. Remember, we use Fahrenheit. We use the degree measuring of the world. Not really, right? Freaking Americans, we make up our own shit, right? Fuck the metric system, right? Let's just make up our own standard system. Well, there's snow on the mountains. <laughs> there's not snow here. Hey, what's up, Lewis? So what is 20 Celsius? It's two degrees Celsius in Canada. All right, what's 20 degrees Celsius? 68 degrees. Yeah, Yorpy. <laughs> That's cold for us. <laughs> it's, what can I say? F doesn't stand for Fahrenheit. It stands for freedom. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Thanks, Detras. I really appreciate that. If you will stream coffee, I'll explain you the thing with USSR and the Czech Republic. I'd be interested to hear that. I'd be interested to see that. Um, just to let you know, too, a couple, I think it was um, Blue Turtle, Turtle Blue, um, uh, uh, what's his name, Bostop Gaming. A couple of people have asked for um, to do coffee with the cop audio on discord so that may be a, a thing coming soon too got to talk to fox about the logistics of that and how we can do that so we will definitely uh, talk about that we may do something where we can actually live chat and do do chat and live chat at the same time so hopefully we can get that going in the near future i know we can do it it's just me and my computer skills are not real savvy i mean that's let me get down to it guys i even though I built my own computer, I'm not like a program kind of guy. This stuff that's going on in all these screens and stuff like that is um, me watching YouTube videos and getting hints from you guys. So that's kind of the problem there. Um, I didn't know you swear. Um, sorry, it does come out every now and then. Um, I do apologize. I do try not. I do try not to swear. Um, cause I do know that, uh, you know, swearing does offend some people, but Hey, this is real world. This is real life. And, um, sorry. So you will hear the occasional swear word from me, especially when I get frustrated with a mission and I got to still figure out what video we'll be dropping on Friday. If it's going to be SWAT four, alien isolation, GTA five. Uh, what else are we, uh, maybe cyberpunk? I don't know yet. I got to still decide, but I have to record it by tomorrow since today's 
Wednesday. So I'm kind of already a day behind, but I definitely want to give you guys a Friday video. Um, I think it's Friday. Or is it supposed to get a video for tomorrow? I don't know. I got to take a look at the schedule myself. Um, hot coffee on audio. Coffee required. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'm going to get ready for well, I'm going to go for my run, guys. Thank you. Maybe take a vote. We could do that, Fox. We could do that as a, a community poll poll thing. We could see what uh, we can always do uh, community polls to see what people are um, um, interested in. So, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining me today. I really appreciate everyone who came on board. And, um, um, sorry, Flint, sorry, mate. Sorry, there's something bad, but it's honestly a description of Lynch Flint's facing harsh reality in the real world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. I agree with you. Um, I agree with you guys. It's just real world. It's real world. Um, right. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. It's really been a pleasure playing Sleeping Dogs for you guys. I enjoyed the gameplay. Um, I did record some side missions for later, so hope maybe that'll be Friday's upload or be Sunday's upload. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting this channel just with your views and your likes. I really do appreciate it. Um, it does make my, it does make my day, um, and, uh, makes me happy to know you guys are watching now and also later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, remember, take care of yourself, take care of one another, really, please take care of one another. We're going to get through COVID-19 together. Hopefully 2021 will be better for all of us and especially better for you. Be quiet, be quiet, and, um... But until then, last my train of thought, I'll be sitting in this chair making the content that you request, you want, and you deserve. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris the Cop saying, peace. Remember, remember, peace on earth, goodwill to men. That's where that comes from. All right, everybody, peace. Have a good one. And have a happy new year. Have a happy new year. Right? This is our last stream for 2020. Have a happy new year. I will see all of you in 2021. I'll see all of you next year. <laughs> Let's do that for clickbait, right? That'd be a cool clickbait. All right, everybody. Thanks again.